I think my relationship with food wasn't great. Um, I think I was a classic, uh, I think we had this conversation during our sessions, I was a classic sort of child of the 70s, growing up with home cooked food a lot of the time with a mother that didn't work, well, very much. Um, into the 80s and 90s, you know, um, when I became an independent adult, um, I came into a world of convenience food and the growth of takeaways. And I probably, by my late 30s, found myself sparring into a, oh, I've put some weight on, I need to diet, and that yo-yo diet culture. And I think food was, you know, either an indulgence or an enemy a lot of the time. You know, you enjoy it and then feel guilty, a lot of guilt, lay, you know, laying in there. And uh, I think generally, I would say it was unhealthy. It's a shame because, it, you know, it's something that you can enjoy and, and why not? you know, in the right circumstances, but yeah, confused and complicated, I think would be the best descriptor. I think probably an equal, if I'm honest, an equal mix of open-mindedness because I, I, you know, I was really become quite weary and cynical of, of, of yo-yo dieting and, and the whole diet culture. And yet I hadn't really seen any, any options because uh, they, were, they, they seemed like a viable alternative, not that the diet culture seemed to be working anyway, but that is part of the problem, you know, the, the notion of letting go, embracing food is just a thing, and, you know, any food is okay, etc., you know, just in the right circumstances and your approach to it, um, is quite a big ask, I think, something, you know, to accept that. Um, but the more we worked through it, the more logical it became, you know, and in the end, he was saying the end of there never really is an end, is there? But here I am today looking at it thinking at the end of the day, um, the approach that you endorse and you, 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 you um, share is far more logical than a diet culture. It, it is a natural one that, you know, for hundreds of thousands of years, uh, hundreds and thousands of years, human beings have not gone through a diet culture. They've eaten naturally what their bodies need for that time. And so, you know, IE is a very logical and natural approach. Dieting isn't. And I think that's the thing that we've had drummed into is that we believe that dieting is a logical approach and it actually is the opposite of logic. I think it's a total change of approach. I think it's very, it was very easy, if I must write at the start of this, to be living with that guilt. You put weight on your diet, you know, the, the, there's, a, there's certainly a lot of guilt in, in, in the you know, the culture of, of the world at the moment, certainly around diet, and that, um, you know, you're, you're, that not being a perfect weight is bad. You're a bad person for it. There's a, certainly a lot of guilt to us, but to look at any advertising or marketing around diet, culture, or health, you know, it's all about be the best you can be, and you have to be healthy to be the best person. And um, none of the, not all of us are ever going to have perfect bodies, and we shouldn't beat ourselves up for that. You know, we are what we are. Um, yeah. and yes we can all perhaps you know improve our overall health because to me that's what it is it's about my overall health and diet as in not dieting but diet is part of that and to accept that as an overall package and to accept yourself and realize that your health is the food just one aspect of it is a very uh, important recognition i think we're led to believe that food is the key we, if we don't get our food right everything else is a waste of time and that's not necessarily true, it's just part and parcel. The amount of effort that goes into dieting, psychologically, emotionally, physically, um, compared to the effort of understanding IE and the principles of it, um, don't waste your time. You know, you, you probably try, if, you, if you're thinking of starting another diet, step back and ask yourself, you know, why? You know, why hasn't it worked so far? IE is a process, I think, that something that actually remains with you. You're always conscious of it in the sense of your concept of your health. But if you embrace the concept, you see where your diet, not dieting, fits into that, along with all the other parts of your life. And it affords you an opportunity to take a very different approach. Don't, you know, step away from the norm. Uh, the norm has only been something that's been with us for a few decades and it's basically based on an industry that makes money out of selling you the notion of dieting you know um that you need it but it, it's understanding that the 
the IE is a process that is a natural one. There's nothing mystic or weird about it. Dieting is unnatural. You know, learning to eat what you're listening to your body, what your body needs, what your body wants. It's all about, you know, like my company say, you know, a little bit of what you uh, want doesn't do you any harm, and it doesn't. And that's, and I think it's learning to listen to your body. Uh, you, you, it's a far more less stressful process. Dieting is just stress. It's just something that you push yourself into. And no, a very few people have, you know, I've ever known who felt bad, dieted, and then felt great afterwards and never dieted again. Ask yourself, if I'm doing this in a yo-yo process, if I'm dieting and then failing and dieting again, break the cycle. Try something different because it works. It's, in, it, it's logical. 